Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today it is snowing outside, so I do want to build something with snow. But I don't want to leave the sewing room and go out in the snow. I want to do it here. So I'm going to make a small snowman quilt. So this is a picture of that little snowman quilt that I want to make. I did get that pattern from the newsletter called We All Sew, and it's from Bernina. The designer of this pattern is Cherry Goodry, and it's super cute. And I'll put links in the description so you can follow along. Along with scraps, we are going to need this little template so that we can have his placement for his eyes, mouth, and of course that carrot. The carrot is cut out of fusible web that we're going to be able to put on after. And for my background fabric, I was able to pull out this really fun sky fabric. For the hat, I did have some black and it's music notes. For the scarf and the band on the hat, I did choose this bright lime green. And for Mr. Snowman himself, I did find this little pearl light blue. And of course, a little orange for the nose. So let's start and put Mr. Snowman together. So the first thing we need to do is start his face. We will need a piece of fabric seven inches by five and a half inches and it will fit right over that placement. So we're going to be able to mark where his nose goes and put little dots to where the buttons are going to go. I did fuse my fusible web onto that orange fabric and I did let that cool. Now I can cut out that shape. Remove that back paper and glue his little nose on. And to secure that on, I'm going to do a blanket stitch all the way around. Now that that little nose is on, we're going to be able to turn this rectangle into a shape of his head. And we're going to use two squares of the background fabric and they're cut at an inch and a half each. Now along this edge there are the measurements so we can always check them off as we use them. So on the bottom corner we're going to place those corner pieces on, draw a line from the corner to corner and those are going to be stitching lines. Once that line has been stitched we're going to be able to press that over and remove these two pieces leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. This corner is not changing the size, it's just replacing this piece. The next piece we're going to add on is his scarf. It is seven inches by two inches and that matches this edge. Match right sides, stitch a quarter inch and press that down. We can put his cute little face away and work on his hat. We have a six inch by five inch, and that little hat band is six inch by one inch. And we're gonna put those together. We have two pieces of background fabric, letter K and L. The K does need to go on the left hand side, and the L on the right hand side. And we're gonna be able to see how those sides are going to match up. So we need to sew those two together. We're going to finish his hat by having F and G on the left side and H on the right side. We can now sew the backgrounds onto his little face. We have D that is on the left and E which is on the right. We can now sew these two seams together. And once his head and hat are together, we're going to add a top and a bottom on. We can now finish it off with the large background fabric, which is three and a half by 18 and a half inches, and finish off his body with that same size. We now have used up all of those pieces. The pattern does have the snowman on an angle, so we need to cut him on an angle. So we're gonna turn him into 12 inches by 14 inches. So that bottom is that 12 inch. To square them up, we're going to use a measurement. So we're gonna start from that scarf corner over a quarter inch and go down two inches. So 
So I'm just going to use the ruler. So I've gone over a quarter inch and down two inches. Just mark that corner. We can mark one more measurement right from the top of his hat, go over two and a quarter inches. So I have two and a quarter. These two marks are going to help us set this straight. So we can start from this point to this point here and cut that line. Even though this line is 19 and a half inches, we're going to be able to use the straight line to get started. So once that piece comes off, we do have that straight edge. We can now take our ruler. We're going to use that straight edge to our advantage. We're still using that point and cut off. Let me put that straight on the mat so you'll be able to see we do have that straight line and the ruler is straight. Measure over 12 inches and put a mark or if you have a 12 inch ruler you can use that. So this was the first cut, this was the second and we're going to come down here and start to straighten that up. So we now have 12 inches. We need to just straighten that up to 14 inches and cut. We now have 12 inches by 14 inches. If you're not confident in cutting with the rulers, you can make yourself a paper template that equals that 12 and 14 inches and put it on and do your marking. And it doesn't have to be exact. We're just putting him on a bit of an angle. Now that he's squared off, we need to do some quilting. Cherry does have some straight line quilting and I think it's perfect for this project. And we can use a walking foot, which means it's going to get done really quickly. We're going to use the edge of the walking foot so we only need to have one line to start with. I'm going to put a line right here in the center where you can see it. As long as you can put a mark where you can see it, that will work. And all we need to do is start with one straight line. So line up the edge of the pattern, and get a chalk marker or a iron off marker, a fadeable marker, and put that line in. This is going to be the only line we need to do to quilt him. So let's go to the machine and put our walking foot on. So I do have my Bernina set up with the walking foot. And I also have my machine set so my stitches are a little big at about a three. My first row, I'm following that drawn line. I do have a video on how to use a walking foot and I'll put that in the description if you are interested. I do like to start off of that fabric and stitch that first line. Just drive the fabric here. We don't need to force it. The machine will take it. We just need to give it some direction. So for the next row, the line of stitching is going to go along the edge of the foot. And just let that edge follow the thread line. The next row of stitching is the same. So I'm going to stitch going from one side, turn it around and stitch going from the other side until I finish off all of the quilt top. Mr. Snowman is now quilted and ready to be trimmed and bound. Cherry does have a hanging sleeve along the back and that way it would fit in her little rack. But I'm just going to have mine sitting on my table so I will just need to trim it off, bind it, and put his nose and mouth on. And with a little binding and buttons, Jolly is now done. So this was one snowman I didn't have to put my coat on to build. I'll put some links in the description and thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.